Hello everyone, I'm Harry Lee. Welcome to Big Apple English. Today I'm going to talk about clothes washing between China and Canada. You know, in China, if you want to, if you want to wash clothes, you can just wash your clothes by hand or by washing machine and hang your clothes or your trousers or your pants on a rope uh, on, a, on your balcony. So it's a very traditional way for most of Chinese people. Um, I think it's very clean and uh, you can save a lot of energy because the clothes are dried by the air. And however, in Canada, you cannot do that. Um, now, uh, now I'm living in uh, condos in Ottawa. Uh, you know, in our, I, in our apartment office, they do not allow us to hang any clothes on the balcony. So you can only wash your your clothes or your trousers on a public washing machine room. So every time if you, if you want to wash clothes, you can uh, collect your uh, clothes in a big uh, bag and uh, take to the first, first floor of our building and put them, on the, uh, put them in the washing machine. After the washing machine uh, finished the process and you push your, uh, put your clothes to a dryer, so the dryer will dry your clothes by hot air heated by the electricity. So this is the way uh, the most Canadian people uh, wash their machine, uh, wash their clothes. However, I don't like it because you know uh, too many people share one washing machine, so it is a little bit dirty. I think it is sometimes uh, a little bit easy to get some contagious diseases. Uh, so I don't like it. Another reason, maybe you know, it it's a little bit uh, expensive. Uh, it, it 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 will cost about uh, four to five dollars uh, per uh, for each uh, time your uh, you wash your clothes, and uh, because all the machines are run by electricity, so it is expensive. How oh, okay. Today I talk about the washing uh, the clothes washing between Canada and China. If you like my uh, video, you can uh, subscribe my channel and give me a thumbs up.